All right. Hi, guys. This is Jenny Avis, Director of Membership Development here at the Clear Lake Area Chamber of Commerce. We're really excited today. We're going to be kicking off a new initiative um, called our Member Question of the Day. Um, we're really excited today that we are joined by one of our members, Taylor McConnell. She's the founder and CEO of the Cypher Group. Very, very specifically working with small businesses on um, what it is they can do with their digital marketing to really increase their visibility here in the community. Um, and, and so we're so excited to have her here today. So we wanted to just start this segment. The Chamber is all about giving you extra tools for your toolbox and marketing top of mind, we know, for a lot of our small business owners. So why is Google My Business so important is a topic that we're going to deal with today. And Taylor, we're so excited to have you here. So just why is Google My Business an important tool for uh, small businesses to be aware of? Um, you know, there, there are so many reasons why Google My Business is important, but in particular for, for local businesses. Um, you can think about Google My Business as kind of like the foundation for your local SEO. And so SEO being search engine optimization, um, which is basically just to say how people in your area uh, can find you. And so if you haven't claimed your Google My Business listing or you haven't optimized it or made sure that that information is up to date, you might actually be introducing you know, a barrier to, uh, to where people can't do business with you or they don't know how. Um, so it's really important that uh, one, if you haven't claimed your Google My Business listing yet, then that's gonna be your first step. Um, you have to start there. And then second, if you already have uh, claimed your business profile, then you want to go in, make sure that that information is up to date, um, especially just your basic information, right? So uh, your address, your PIN on the map, make sure that it's actually in the right physical location. Sometimes it can be wrong. Um, and then also your contact information. Um, I've had clients who couldn't figure out why all of a sudden they weren't getting phone calls. And it's because they had changed their phone number, but they forgot to update their Google My Business listing. Um, so that's an easy way where you're having, you know, a drop off and you don't know why it might be right there. So yeah, uh, that's kind of a, yeah, a, a quick update of what you need to do to get started. So where do they go to get started with the, with the Google My Business? Is there a website that people go to or how does that work if, if they're brand new to this idea? Yeah, it can work in, in more than one way. So it is possible that you have a listing that's already out there that Google has enough information that they were at least able to uh, create an initial listing for you. And if you see that, so if you do a Google search for your business, um, you'll see a box pop up in the right hand side. It's got your information, a little link to the map. Um, you'll see a link that says claim my business. And that's one place that you can go. Um, and then you'll log into uh, a Google account or create one. And that's one way that you can do it. If you're brand new, um, fresh or opening a new location, you'll actually go to the Google My Business website and you can create a new business profile. Um, a couple of things to note there, you do have to have a brick and mortar physical location. Um, so if you're starting a business, maybe as a freelancer, you may not be able to do that. Um, it's also important to note that in order to verify your listing, uh, Google is actually gonna send you a postcard with a code on it in the mail. So make sure that you can receive that postcard. So let's say you're building a brand new building. You may not have your mailing address yet. So you're going to have to kind of uh, fit that into your opening plan uh, as time permits. Oh, okay. Good tip. I did not know about the, the postcard that gets sent out. So that's awesome because Google's doing everything they can to verify that it's accurate information. Um, yeah, so that's absolutely. Great. So what other tips? So what, what other tips you have for local businesses to really get the most out of their Google My Business listing? Are there, what are the extras that they need to be thinking about? Yeah, so after you've kind of taken care of your, your basic information and you made sure that you've, uh, you know, verified that everything's correct, then you wanna work on optimizing your uh, profile. So there are a couple ways that you can do that. Uh, one of the ways that you can do that is in the hours section, you can also uh, utilize that to set up things like temporary hours or, uh, you know, holiday hours and things like that. Um, this is especially important in a time, you know, like right now, for instance, if your business has been affected by COVID-19 and maybe you're not working on your standard operating hours that you normally would be, there's an opportunity where you can go in and make sure that you've updated those hours uh, with what you're able to do 
um, right now. You can also take advantage of things, especially for restaurants. Um, Google's implemented some new tools where you can set uh, whether or not you are open for walk-ins or pickup only, or your uh, you can do touchless delivery. Um, they've added those options uh, in particular for restaurants to help them because they wanna remove any kind of friction or barrier, right, between you and your customer. So you don't wanna make them wonder um, whether or not they can, uh, you know, come to your business or whether or not you're open. Um, so that's an easy way. And, you know, another scenario where that might happen is if we had another situation like Harvey, you know, or a natural disaster, um, your business might be fine. The business across the street may have flooded and they can't operate. So you don't, again, don't make people have to physically drive to your location. You can tell them on Google My Business and it's it's all right there for them in a quick Google search. So that's one way. And then if you really wanted to take it a step further, um, Google's given you some tools that uh, give you more exposure to your brand. So for instance, you can do things like, um, if you're a small to medium sized business, you can actually post your products and services on your Google My Business profile. So that means that when someone does a Google search, they can see in the listings with all of your competitors, they can see exactly what you offer. They could see the brands that you offer, um, all the services right there. They don't even have to make it all the way into your website yet. And that could be the moment where someone makes a decision whether or not they're gonna work with you or if they're gonna work with someone else. Some other things that you can do, you can create posts. So if you have an upcoming event, or if you are a business who holds regular uh, training sessions or you have classes, you can post that on Google My Business profile. Um, you can also post things, and one of the things that I really like to see local businesses do is you can post things like offer codes when you're having a sale. So that code might only be visible in Google My Business. That would let you know, okay, this person is using this 10% off coupon. I know the only place that I posted this was Google My Business. And that's one way you can really see how that listing uh, can work for you. Um, outside of that, there are some other options. This isn't gonna apply to all businesses, but in some cases, you can set up buttons on your listing. So that would include things like, if you are a restaurant, you can put um, an you know, order pickup or delivery button. If you're a hotel or a motel, you could potentially have a check availability button. And then um, for certain healthcare providers, you can schedule virtual or in-office appointments. And so again, Google's just trying to make it really easy for you to connect with people that want to do business with you already. So all you have to do is get in and set up you know, those optimizations yourself. They're not automatically set up for you. Um, so you do have to go in there and do that. Yeah, that's awesome. I I really did pick up a couple of things there. I did not know about all of those different opportunities. So I love that we're sharing this information with our members. I'm sure there are lots of people out there like me who who did not know. So um, I know there's a lot more that Google will do for you if you know how to use it. And Taylor, I know you said you were going to post a blog or it's live now. So we can yeah. um, share that link on this post and then people can go there and get a little more information. But you were also so gracious for us. And Taylor made an infographic to share. Um, so we can look at these things and, and help remind yourself and your team how you want to do that um, and approach the, these, these new tools of Google My Business. And so that's available as well. And we're going to send that link out too. Um, do you have that link in front of you? Um, I don't have it right in front of me right now. Let's see. Because we probably need to tell everyone that. Yeah, Pop the presses, guys. Okay, it's at the cyphergroup.com slash CLACC dash Google dash my dash business. So it's there for you guys. It's a little free gift um, for you. And so we'll also post that link down below. Um, but just want to let everyone know we're going to continue on with these segments. Um, if you have specific marketing questions you would like to see some of our experts discuss here, don't be shy. Send those over to us. You can email them to me, comment below with them, and we'll continue to provide this programming. Again, Chamber is here to provide you guys with tools for common business needs. Um, 
And that's what this is about. So definitely send us your questions. Let us help you out with that. If you enjoyed this information, we would love to have you as a member if you're not already. So we'll definitely um, want to have that conversation, get to know you and your business and talk about ways the chamber can be a great partner for you. Um, but until then, thank you so much, Taylor, for sharing some of your uh, knowledge. And we're so grateful to have you. And um, we will see you guys next time with our next question. Thanks Thank so much. Absolutely.